guys, I'm Lauren Vitale. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how I make my orzo. And this is kind of like my buttery parmesan orzo and it's such a simple recipe. I mean, this is like ridiculously simple. And it just requires a few ingredients and the base for them is super simple. You're going to need some orzo pasta, some chicken stock, teeny tiny bit of butter, and then of course you're going to need your parmesan reggiano and salt and pepper and a little bit of parsley to finish. But you know, orzo is kind of like, it's a rice shaped pasta. It's not rice, it's shaped like rice, but it's a rice shaped pasta. But by all means, if you have any kind of small cut pasta, use that instead. Don't be limited to just the orzo. It just so happens that, you know, I make my orzo this way, but to each his own, whatever you have on hand is what I suggest you use. Now this is a wonderful side dish to just about anything at all. It's simple, but yet has so much flavor and character that it can stand up to chicken piccata or a piece of steak or whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to serve it with some pork chops for later on, but let's just get right into it. I have some, a saucepan here, it's about a medium saucepan, and it's preheating over medium heat, and I'm going to put in a little bit of butter. And I'm just going to get that melted to my melted butter. I'm just going to add in my orzo and I'm just going to give this a stir and cook it for about three to four minutes or until the orzo becomes toasted. It develops a nutty flavor which is really fantastic and I mean you're not adding anything else to it. You're just taking a few extra minutes to develop that flavor by toasting it. So just let that go for just a few minutes but make sure you stir it because it will burn if you don't. My orzo has been cooking up in the butter for about three minutes and look, you can see it's developed a beautiful toasted color. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to just add in my chicken stock, it's that simple. Give this a stir, let it come up to a boil, reduce the heat to medium low and let it simmer for about 15 minutes or so or until the orzo is done and then we'll finish it off. My orzo has been cooking for about 15 minutes and it's completely done so I'm just going to turn it completely off the heat. And now to that I'm going to add in a good grating of some parmigiano reggiano. I really want that salty bite but again this is something that you can add as much or as little as you want. You're the boss in your kitchen. Always remember that. That's about good for me. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of parsley. Whoa. And then just season very simply with some salt and pepper. Don't go too crazy on the salt because you have the cheese in there that's very salty. Give that a big stir. Look at that. Mmm, smells heavenly. Put this in a bowl. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful and smells fantastic. Like I said, serve this alongside some chicken, pork chops, a piece of fish, some shrimp, whatever. Ooh, alongside some shrimp scampi wouldn't be so bad. I'm going to serve this with my hot cherry pepper pork chops, but for now I'm going to give this a taste. Mmm. It's really good cold too. That is perfect. That is buttery. That is cheesy. That has got a nice salty bite from the cheese. It needs nothing else besides a pork chop to go with it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Go to www.laurinakitchen.com to get this incredibly easy, simple recipe. It can be your go-to side dish from now on if you want it to be. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.